I like these ambient noises. Quite a lot of birds. So this is the light of Wendy. What she's been seeing, I don't know. Uh, where does she want me to go? No, I'm just going this way. You'll have to follow. Will she though? Oh, now she's going. What she went away, Amanda? Yeah. Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father, I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. It must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Okay, so it's like a small religious community then. They seem like nice people. She's w She was a bit bitter about her, I don't know, Eddie. If it's her husband or son, but apparently he's dead. In the armor or something? I don't know. Oh, another phone. In the car? No, on the car. What's this? District Council. Okay. Some paperwork and stuff. It got as far as the Haverton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light. Whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. Another phone. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy. This is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You'd say this too seriously, Appleton. I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a pint. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll not argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> The 
some of these things um, seem less important than uh, the others. Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. It seems like Steven and uh, that other guy had some troubles. Steven and Jeremy. So he probably couldn't help with the birds. I'm sorry, Wendy. Good luck she has Frank as a neighbor, though. What's this? Tipworth Woods. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy! Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Come on, boy! Harvey! Harvey. So Harvey's the dog? I guess? the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, no, you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Hurry up, see where the dog went. Oh. What you got for me? What you got for me? Seems as she's got nothing up here at least. I was following her down here, like there was no need for her to come back up. Hey, hey, hey! There's no need for you to come back up. I'll follow. Yeah, what's that? Phone call from Steven. He wants to shut. Phone call from Steven. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower Six. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Someone's been cough coughing blood here. Doesn't seem good. I think it's more than just the flu. Yeah, are you coming or what? Apparently not. I think we're done with the Wendy. Uh, yeah, I should probably check the map to see uh, where I'm supposed to go. I should probably follow the main road. So where am I now? I passed the observatory, I passed Yorton, and that's where the blood rags are at. Uh, I've been through Tipworth Forest. Am I by that bus station? Bus stop 6684. Might be by that bus road. Yeah. I came from a side road though. I don't know where I am. I could go there, 
across a bridge or here across another bridge so let's see how the road curves I want to go yeah I want to go this way this way Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look. He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God. He's trying to undo his seatbelt. Here we are. It's fine, then. crashed the car. Seems quite grim. What happened to all the people though? I guess it's in the title, but still. Yeah, I guess... Uh, let's see. Let's see West Gorge. I'll go up here. Good grief, Wendy, you'll catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is, we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter, man. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. So Ed is hurt like her husband. Um, there's nothing left up here. Let's head back down then. What's this music? station. Let's see who's up with the train. Oh, derailed. How'd that happen? What's happened? Stephen, thank oh. God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box, see if there's a phone working. No, stay back! Don't come up here! Oh, Christ. 
Is that... Bloody idiot! <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? So people got hit by the train and it derailed. Oh. How did all, how did all of this happen? Should I shake upstairs? Yeah, I guess so. There so I can go down again. Okay. So what's in here? I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy, he'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. What about the shoes, though? I want to know more about the shoes, and why people stole them. Like, where are these people from? Are they, like, is this in Scotland? I can't really place dialect. It seems like Northern English, nor Northern British, British, like either Northern England or Scotland. Let's see where we can go. Yeah, it seems we're supposed to go down there. here by the pond I'll well, keep going uh, it seems like the life was like doing a big show uh, over here what's in here suitcase nothing I can interact with Doesn't seem to be a light over here though. Yeah, here it is. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything alright, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm alright. I'm alright. It's just. Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mither and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her, and I don't like how Stephen is around her. 
He was a better man when he was with you. Okay, so Steven, they said earlier that Steven was from this place, like from Jordan. So Wendy and Eddie are Steven's parents. And he used to be with Lizzie, but now he's with Kate, who he's also working with. And Kate's apparently black. That's what I'm gathering. And she's not racist, Wendy, but she doesn't like these light shows. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a hang of it. Yeah, let's just keep going. That car is actually on. Yeah, people think they can park wherever they want if they got the warning blinkers on. I'll go and see what's up with this car. Oh, I can go in here first. they say? I'll write it down. Okay, one six one five one four zero six zero four. I don't know if it's important for me to remember it, but I wrote it down just in case. Ooh, we got honey here. Let's see if I can enter the back from here. No, it's locked. Okay. There's something in the observatory with me. I can feel it reaching out to me. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. Is she talking about the light that's guiding me? Because there's something, it was tra traveling through like the power lines, apparently killing everyone. Where am I? By this bus station, up here by the Grange, I think. So we keep heading through Appleton's farm next, I guess. Wait. I should probably get up here first. Come on, come on, come on, you stupid bastard. Come on. Ah, damn bloody thing. Jesus. Come on, not now. Jesus, come on, you bastard. Start, start, you bastard. Come on! Ah. He did not get that shit working. Uh, what's around the garage? Let's see. Oh, nothing. Yeah. I'll just head into the house then. You want to show me, Wendy? Stephen. Zero, 
Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! Like they're working about the constellations. Are those the things? Like taking everyone through rapture and stuff? Zero 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 seven zero three one six zero six. So I got the numbers written down. What do they have to do with anything? I have another another series as well. What do they mean though? You have no idea. But well, the TVs give me like number combinations, but I have no idea what they mean. Let's head out the. Oh, not here. I want to get out the backyard. Over here? Stephen, yeah. Where's Kate? Are you here? Loaded for long. What's happening? Stephen? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be alright. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. this leading me this better not be some scary shit uh. long road. What are all these lights? Are like fireflies? Is this 
Manchester when 